So in this video, we are going to learn something about span. So let me start with the problem in this way. I'm taking a set S, which is having vector 1, 3 and a vector 2, 1. And I will first try to show that the set is a linearly independent set. So 1, 3, 2, 1, I'm going to call the vectors 1, 3, 2, 1 as U bar and V bar. So I will say let U bar be equal to 1, 3 and V bar be equal to 2, 1. I want to show that these two vectors are linearly independent set uh, in linearly independent in R2. So I will consider the combination C1 U1 C1 U bar plus C2 V bar is equal to zero bar. And then I will substitute the values of U bar and V bar. And I will get again two equations. And I will get the first equation that I'll get from the first coordinates is c1 plus 2c2 is equal to 0 and the second equation I will get is 3c1 plus c2 is equal to 0 and I will solve them simultaneously and I will get that c1 and c2 both are equal to 0 therefore the set u bar v bar which is which I'm calling the set s is a linearly independent set in r2 if I move on to the second point of this question so the first one is solved if i move on to the second point the second point is 3 comma 4 is a linear combination of 1 3 and 2 1 so we want to show that the vector 3 comma 4 is a linear combination of the two vectors u and u bar and v bar so if i consider the vector 3 comma 4 i want to express it as a linear combination of u bar and v bar and what is the linear combination of u bar and v bar means it is a times u bar plus b times v bar 3 comma 4 can we find this a and b what a and what b should i choose so that 3 comma 4 will become a linear combination of the vector u bar and v bar so the first vector is uh, 1 3 and second vector is 2 1 so i will write it as it's equal to a comma 1 3 plus b of b multiplied by 2 1 and i want to find a and b from this particular expression so when i write the linear equation I will, when i equate the first coordinates i will get 3 is equal to a plus 2 b and the second coordinates when i compare i will get 4 is equal to 3 a plus b And when we solve this simultaneously, we will get the values of a and b will turn out to be 1 and 1. You can clearly see it from the equations also. If you put a equal to 1 and b equal to 1, you'll get 3. If you put a equal to 1 and b equal to 1, you'll get 4. So the this means that the vector 3 comma 4 is expressed as a linear combination as 1 times u bar plus 1 times v bar, which is 1 times 1, 3 plus 1 times 2 comma 1 right so this is a linear combination of 3 4 in terms of u bar comma v bar if i move to the third point now what i want to do is that if i can do this thing for 3 comma 4 can i do it for any alpha beta can i write any alpha beta as a linear combination of 1 3 and 2 1 so instead of 3 comma 4 we will try to write down what if I take any alpha beta? So let uh, alpha beta be written as a linear combination of a times u bar plus b times v bar. So this where alpha beta is given to me now, instead of 3, 4, I'm writing alpha beta. a times u bar is uh, 3, 1 comma 3 plus b times 2 comma 1. Can I find a and b? Can I find a and b and what is given to me alpha and beta are two numbers which are given to me like 3 and 4 in the previous example alpha beta was 3 4 so can I do that so when I write the equations when I compare the first coordinates I'm going to get alpha is equal to a plus 2b and I'm going to get beta 
is equal to let me write on the next line beta is equal to 3a plus b okay and now i'm going to solve these two equations simultaneously let me move to the next page so i'm getting a plus 2b is alpha and 3a plus b is equal to beta and i'm going to solve them simultaneously so i'll multiply the second equation by 2 so i'm going to get a plus 2b equal to alpha and second equation will become 6a plus 2b equal to 2 beta and when i subtract them i'm going to get minus 5a is equal to alpha minus 2 beta and therefore the value of a that i'm going to get is alpha minus 2 beta divided by minus 5 so i got the value of the first scalar and when i when i substitute that value in the equation 1 so a plus 2b is equal to alpha we know this so this means that 2b can be written as alpha minus a and therefore 2b is equal to alpha minus a where we have just now found out the value of a a is alpha minus 2 beta upon minus 5 and therefore the value of b also we have now found out the value of b is half of this quantity alpha minus alpha minus 2 beta divided by minus 5 i will not simplify this it's just important for us that we could find a value of the values of a and b and therefore we can express any vector alpha beta as a linear combination of the two vectors 1 3 and b is how much b into 2 1 this is a times u bar plus b times b bar so we could find the values of a and b and we have expressed any vector alpha beta as a linear combination of u bar and v bar that is what we wanted to show in the exercise above i will just show you the exercise above show that any alpha beta is a linear combination of the vector 1 3 and the vector 2 1 now once we are able to do this we, we have not we, we have now understood that any alpha beta lies in the span of 1 3 and 2 comma 1 because it can be expressed as a linear combination of the given two vectors means this alpha beta belongs to the span the meaning of this line the meaning of the third line is that that alpha beta any alpha beta now belongs to the span of the two vectors u bar and v bar now let us see geometrically what is the span of these two vectors u bar and v bar now as in the figure you can see the vector u bar is 1 3 and the vector v bar is 2 comma 1 and now i'm going to take all the linear combinations means i'm going to multiply the first vector by a any value a a is a real number and any value b to the vector 2 comma 2 comma 1 and i'm going to take the addition of that which is a u bar plus b times v bar i will just zoom in the picture and we will now start varying the values of a and b and see what are the plots what are the points that are covered by the linear combination of uh, these two vectors so let me just start it you can see that the points are varying in the figure if a takes different different values and b takes different different values now here for uh, for this i have just restricted my value of a and b between minus 3 and 3 so a is also lying between minus 3 and b um, minus 3 3 and b is also lying between minus 3 3 you see as the we get different different values of a and b these are the points which are the linear combinations of the two vectors u bar and v bar do you see a nice parallelogram is automatically getting plotted 
If I increase the size of A and B variables, you can see here in the slider that A is varying between minus 3, 3 and B is also varying between minus 3 to 3. So I will again refresh the data. You'll again see the plots. You can see a nice parallelogram is formed. So this basically is nothing but what? This is the span of u bar and v bar where the scalar multiples are restricted from in the range minus 3 to 3. If I increase the range of the scalar multiples, this parallelogram, pa parallelogram will st start increasing its size. And if I make the value of a and b vary between all real numbers a and b can be any real numbers you will now understand that this parallelogram will start expanding and eventually the parallelogram will become the complete r2 right that is why we say that the span of these two linearly independent vectors 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 1 the span of these two linearly independent vectors will be equal to complete R2.